Good morning, this is Greg, N4KGL. I'm in my, uh, at my backyard this morning. Uh, my backyard is a lot uh, clearer after Hurricane Michael. Uh, numerous trees, a storage building are gone. Uh, so it's, it's uh, an open area. Uh, unfortunately, if you can see in the background there, there are high voltage lines going directly across my backyard, uh, which are causing a noise problem uh, for HF operations. But uh, after a lot of thought uh, and considering trade-offs, and uh, I have come <laughs> to the conclusion that I'm going to try a n6bt.com uh, v8 uh, vertical dipole uh, with a remote auto tune between 80 and 10. so uh, this should fit nicely in my yard it's not on a tower um, and uh, but uh, one consideration is verticals generally pick up a lot of noise. Well, uh, another antenna I've tried is a uh, W6 LVP uh, broadband loop. Uh, I have that in the front of the house, trying to get some distance from the uh, power lines. And it has... Uh, <laughs> made HF usable, uh, at least as far receiving. So the V8 in the um, backyard here will mainly be for transmitting. Okay, I really uh, have a background with N6BT antennas. I have two Bravo 7K verticals, or vertical dipoles. Um, that I use uh, uh, operating portable. I particularly like to use them at uh, the saltwater shore. Uh, and really in both situations, uh, on land and the shore, uh, it has really got me uh, uh, the contacts I needed for parks on the air and so forth. And um, <clears throat> so uh, uh, this V8 antenna is uh, similar construction uh, uh, for the elements. Uh, it is ground mounted. Uh, the Bravo 6K, uh, 7K I have a tripod. But uh, the major evolution is that it's going to, it uses a remote tuner instead of adjusting coils or element lengths and um, so uh, N6BT used the MFJ tuner I have the same one here and um, uh, we'll see how it works um, I've got the parts laid out here uh, just right out of the box uh, this <clears throat> PVC pipe is going to uh, be buried just a little bit coming out of the ground and that's what will drop the aluminum uh, tube into uh, this is the next aluminum tube uh, and <laughs> they keep going they're nesting uh, they're going to push into each other so they won't be as long uh, this one uh, has the uh, ad adapter here so that the smaller elements will plug into it. Um, uh, one of these tubes will uh, mount the uh, um, MFJ tuner and uh, <clears throat> it's going to use these uh, clamps which were supplied. All right. Uh, 
Uh, moving on, we do have the piece where uh, the essentially the uh, center, so to speak. Uh, we have these uh, isolators on here and uh, this will be for the uh, resonator, the horizontal part. Uh, it's uh, welded. And here are the horizontal uh, resonator. Uh, it's nested tubes, uh, just like the Bravo 7K with clamps. It's very easy to uh, extend these and tighten the clamp. Uh, so this is an easy antenna to put up and also will be a uh, easy antenna to store away should uh, we have some weather problems again here in Panama City. Uh, it is going to have a uh, hairpin coil uh, across between the, essentially across the coax at the feed point and a <clears throat> a coax jumper uh, this end will go to the tuner this end will go uh, to the antenna feed point and finally this is the uh, main radiator which will be vertical it has a number of elements I believe it's going to be uh, approximately 19 feet. So this antenna uh, is designed for 80 through 10. Of course, it's essentially full size at 20 meters. Um, uh, it, it will be progressively shorter for 40 and 80. So it won't be as efficient, but uh, nevertheless, it should get me on the air. Uh, there were some caveats about it tuning on 80 if it's coupled into things in your, your surrounding area. So we'll just uh, have to see how that goes. So this is the layout. Uh, my next task will be uh, uh, digging the hole with hole diggers and putting in that PVC pipe into the ground. Uh, Overall, that should be uh, as pretty much as simple as it's installing your mailbox. So uh, we'll get on with it. All right, here's my uh, hole. Uh, only took about five minutes, uh, and uh, uh, he recommends putting um, some rocks in the bottom uh, I'll do that now and uh, we'll continue on all right well with a little bit of effort I dug a hole with the hole diggers I put some rocks in the bottom and uh, put the 18 inch PVC pipe in inserted the 2 inch pipe into that and uh, Filled it back in with dirt and tweaked it to be level. So that's probably the hardest part of this installation. And it is over. So we'll continue on with the fun part. Uh, here's the next section. Uh, it is checking out as level. So uh, uh, this is a little nut driver. It's pretty much essential for this. <laughs> uh, N6BT sent it with the first Bravo 7K I got. Okay, I've added the uh, tuner uh, with the uh, clamps. And even though the instructions say the MFJ should be upside down, I kind of think MFJ <laughs> switch the lid on this tuner if i'm wrong i can redo it but uh, this looks like the appropriate spot so we'll keep going all right we've got the uh, mfj tuner mounted we also put in the uh, cross piece 
uh, for the elements. Uh, <coughs> the uh, connectors are on this side. And um, I have to decide how to orient this, but I can always change my mind. Um, <coughs> so um, it's going along smoothly and uh, we'll continue on. All right, I have uh, put the uh, horizontal resonator on uh, the two pieces, uh, tightened up the little hose clamps, and also I adjusted a uh, clamp <coughs> down here on this to raise it up so that the ends are about four and a half feet off the ground. Uh, <clears throat> Obviously, uh, people walking around uh, might encounter the antenna. Uh, fortunately, it's very easy to take the horizontal resonators off if I want uh, yard work done. Uh, uh, there would be an option of mounting this on a, uh, a post. Uh, raising it up uh, higher than head level. Uh, something to consider for the future, but I'm just going to go with the stock design for now. Hello, it's later in the day, Saturday, uh, with the uh, uh, N6BT Bravo, no, excuse me, N6BT uh, V8 uh, antenna. Uh, which is uh, behind me here. Um, our initial checkout, our tuner was uh, essentially dead on arrival. It didn't make any any sounds, any clicks. Uh, I did troubleshooting, with, made sure that the uh, DC 12 volts was on the coax. It was. And then uh, it came time to uh, take the tuner down, um, take the cover off, and uh, got familiar with what is inside. Uh, I found that 12 volts did pass through onto the inside, but uh, I'll make it short. Um, uh, the manuals mentioned some buttons, but I couldn't see them, but I eventually found some buttons. There's a display, uh, <clears throat> board essentially a front panel board inside the tuner that would be for a desktop tuner well <clears throat> on the underside it has buttons and one of the buttons is power so when I push the power button I got uh, 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 the relays clicked that was a good sign so I I guess that if I button the uh, tuner back up leaving that button depressed and put it out here on the pole uh, with the uh, antenna that it would work and in fact it does work so a little troubleshooting uh, I found the problem and um, I'll just uh, summarize uh, the <coughs> antenna uh, tunes uh, 20 and up uh, everything it just tunes very quickly uh, tunes on a 40 sideband on a 40 CW which I really enjoy uh, it's not tuning that well uh, but uh, I figure I can uh, experiment a little with this uh, hairpin coil and also, I can uh, vary the le length of the elements here a little bit, and we'll see if we can bring that in. On 80 meters, uh, uh, it tunes, but only to three to one. So it's really a struggle on 80. I don't think the antenna will be very efficient on 80, so I'm not worried about 80. So I'll experiment a little with 40 CW, see if I can bring that in. Uh, but uh, I need to get some experience uh, with it 
uh, the performance and uh, the noise that it picks up this morning the noise was terrible <laughs> uh, this afternoon um, it's a little better so who knows what's going on with these power lines behind me or whatever my sort source of noise is so so anyway um, uh, we're going to enjoy this antenna and um, uh, see if we can do some more operating from our home QTH here in Panama City, Florida. So 73, bye-bye.